All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Scene Cross Nation and today's video we're going to be going over the regular weekly updates that we just received as well as, spoiler alert, some mention of some exciting new news for PvP. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into the notices. There's honestly not too much uh, that came out today. But we're going to go over them real quick anyways. So I'm going to kind of save VIP for last. Uh, go through the easy stuff first. So first of all, we got a new raid boss. Not a big deal. Okay, get it basically every week. Uh, we have Ramu now. I think Shiva is gone. I haven't actually checked, but I want to be. Uh, but I believe that Shiva got replaced by Ramu. Essentially the same exact thing. Ramu is just another really hard boss. Okay, so. Yeah, don't be, don't, by the way, don't worry if you can't beat it. Uh, I have gotten some messages about <laughs> people worrying about if this is a sign of power creep and whatnot. Uh, don't worry, even top players like myself are struggling to beat these. And to be honest, I'm not even caring about it too much if I can't beat it, just because of the fact they don't really offer too much in the first place. Uh, oh, excuse me. By now, many of us who are taking the event coins seriously for the event board uh, to get those free jewels have more or less by now completed our board already. Um, at which point, it's the event coins that you get from beating these guys don't really matter. On top of the fact that most players don't care about titles either. So the only thing of actual value is going to be the gem, but you only get one gem too. So it's, And gems as of right now aren't exactly, you know, that valuable anymore either. So it's just kind of like, eh, if you can't beat it, it's not a big deal. If you can, good for you. Congrats. But other than that, uh, we also got some new... Union Cross stuff, it's a popcorn hat, as you can see there. It's just updated, regular Union Cross. And then, other thing worth mentioning. Okay, now we're back at VIP. VIP this week is actually... It, I mean, it's, it's still not fantastic. <laughs> but, at the very least, it's way better than average. That's for sure, okay? Uh, and there's a few reasons why. The first of them being, if I could scroll down... Um, where is it? Okay. First of them being that we get the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora and Riku EX medal uh, at 7 star. And I believe we get five copies and a trait medal. Is that right? No, that's not it. Uh, we get six copies. Okay, you get six copies of the medal on top of five trait medals. So, basically, you get enough copies to fully evolve... The, uh, the Sora and Riku EX medal into a Supernova medal, okay? On top of having five trait medals for it. Now, you'll still need the Meow Wows in order to evolve it from Supernova to Supernova Plus, but at the very least, you get all the copies. Um, and one, the, and this honestly is going to be one of the main reasons... I'll just scroll down again. Uh, this is honestly going to be one of the main reasons why I would say it's probably more or less okay to get VIP this week just because of the fact that it it's one of the rare once in a blue moon times that you can actually get a metal that can be usable in the meta okay like both Roxas EX and the Soren Riku EX are very meta as of right now they are some of the best damage metals in the game and on top of the fact they do provide a pretty substantial amount of buffs and debuffs as well um, and it is worth noting that they are the second strongest AoE medals in the entire game, right behind the Guardian Form Sora uh, that's in the Kingdom Hearts 3 banner deals. Okay, so you get a pretty good, uh, you get a meta, you get a meta medal essentially. Uh, and for that to appear in VIP is super rare, it's once in a blue moon. Um, on top of the fact that you also get Kingdom Hearts 3 Dark Side, Kingdom Hearts 3 Dark Side honestly isn't the greatest medal. Here, I'll, I'll scroll down real quick. So you can see what it does. Uh, okay. So this is Kingdom Hearts 3 Dark Side. I don't know why, but the resolution of the quality <laughs> of the metal in here is super bad. Um, it, it's really low. I don't know why. It's it, that's not a that's like not a 1080p pick for some reason. Uh, 
but whatever. Um, but this is what it does. I'll read its seven star version. It's an AOE metal, does three hits. For one turn, it raises your reverse strength by five tiers, raises your general strength and speed strength by 15 tiers, lowers the target's general defense and speed defense by 10 tiers, and its damage condition is that it does more damage when more special attacks are used in succession. Okay, and it has a multiplier of 26.32 to a 32.53. Now, its multiplier is honestly pretty decent. I believe this is around what a, like a like a Kingdom Hearts 3 Goofy or Donald is, I think, off the top of my head. Um, so it's not bad, and it's AOE. The boss and debuffs are honestly pretty, pretty substantial as well, especially the bust. Uh, it's probably one of the few metals in the game that I can think of off the top of my head that provides both a max amount a of uh, general strength on top of a uh, huge amount of general defense debuffs with an actual substantial amount of uh, attribute buffs and debuffs as well. So it's honestly pretty good. It's not the greatest metal in the world, but it's it's a usable metal at the very least. You can like you can't you probably can't use it in the top tier meta setups, but you can still use it within your normal setups pretty easily. Um, so that's also kind of another reason why VIP is kind of worth it this week. You get a meta metal in the form of uh, Riku and Sora EX. Um, Dark Side, even though he's not the greatest metal, he's also not the worst metal either compared to most VIP metals. He's actually kind of usable a little bit uh on top of the fact that well yeah those are pretty much the main things <laughs> aside from the jewels of course um in case any of you didn't know as well you are still getting a sword chimpadale honestly trash for a vip medal uh kingdom hearts 3 ansem is pretty much being replaced already in terms i mean you could still kind of use them uh, in terms of damage, but that's it just for damage and even then he's kind of already starting to get super replaced by other metals at this point um, But yeah, that's pretty much it other than that the main thing that I want to talk about for this video is the fact that we're finally Getting an update to PvP where now the number of keyblades that you can use for PvP has been increased from three keyblades to five keyblades. Now, if you have been watching my videos or been a follower of my channel for quite some time now, you can probably recall that pretty much ever since the very beginning <laughs> of PvP coming out, I've been calling that sooner or later they're gonna go to five keyblades uh, because of the fact that in order to help balance balance the kind. Not quite the meta, but just kind of balance the uh, power creep of PvP in general. The easiest way to kind of balance it is through just extending the number of Keyblades you have to use in PvP. Uh, so that way, now that we have five Keyblades, for example, now there's a variety of things that are going to happen because of this. A, uh, it means they're going to have to start using some of your older metals. Uh, and that's even more apparent, especially now, because of the fact that pretty much Kingdom Hearts 3 medals are the only viable medals in terms of the meta. So because of the fact that, especially in a week like this where the five Keyblades being used are very speed heavy, there's definitely not enough meta speed medals in the game, or speed upright medals in the game to kind of like keep up with that. So... You're, you're gonna have to you're probably gonna have to use some of your more older metals again uh, on top of the fact that it means that ailment strategies are making a much harder and more dominant comeback again finally on top of turtling is also back pretty much before this update turtling was more or less kind of dead solely because of the fact that uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie and Shion had overwrite on their supernova so it just kind of made turtling completely useless um, but now, because of the fact that we have been, we're going to five Keyblades, you can actually use Turtling again pretty successfully. On top of ailments, I highly recommend you combine ailments and Turtling together to help get the, the best results, by the way. Uh, and on the last note, I forgot what it was. 
And on the last note, the buffer method, which I made a tutorial video explaining how it works uh, like sometime a while back in case you need to look at that. Uh, the buffer method is going to be even way more relevant now compared to what it used to be at three Keyblades because of the fact that you might not have nearly enough uh, metals or decent metals in your inventory in order to spread across five Keyblades. So having any sort of metal whose buffs and debuffs can last for multiple turns is going to be way more useful now because now you can actually overlap them across Keyblades and you don't have to worry about having maybe like a, a Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie or Shion on every single Keyblade. If you have those multi-buff uh, multi-turn buff and debuff uh, metals, such as like, you know, the Stained Glass EX+, Plus, the Four Teller EX+, Plus, uh, maybe even a couple of the Organization 13 metals, such as Psyx+, Plus, you know, things like of these nature. Um, these will actually start being super useful again, um, just because they carry through through multiple turns. So, I'm super excited for this new update. I've pretty much been calling this for the longest time. Um, and because of, and in the same way, the fact how we're going to five Keyblades now is also a kind of confirmation on my part, or, or to me, I should say, that we're definitely going to be getting a seven Keyblade uh, update sometime in the future as well, maybe in a year more or less okay I, I could see it happening but yeah that's it guys i am planning to be streaming me doing uh setting up and just completely dominating and crushing players in pvp tomorrow when the update drops um that's gonna be a lot of fun i'll also kind of post it on uh i'll post the the twitch vod on youtube as well for any of you who happen to not be able to have made the twitch stream but other than that, I would love to hear what your guys' comments and opinions are in the comments section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from King Martin Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.